it's been a good day. It's exciting for us. This is uh, the fourth centre that we've now opened around the world. We've had a plan for a number of years to start looking at Queensland, and a lot of that for us is driven out of customer demographics. The Pacific Island nations, Asia, and even the Australian market is heading more towards Queensland on an aviation space. And for us, it was also trying to understand that specific simulators and types of training that the pilots need are more suited to then coming up to Queensland. So for example, our ATR 600 has customers from not just Queensland, but we have New Zealand coming across, we have people from Papua New Guinea, right through Asia into China and Singapore ultimately. So Queensland was a good hub. Brisbane's a great hub city to be able to do it. It's obviously a little bit closer than our other site in Melbourne. And also our customer base generally wanted to have simulators and their training closer to where their pilots are based. And for a lot of the regional aircraft, their pilots are based around Brisbane and the Sunshine Coast region, which is obviously a beautiful place to base yourself. It's a really important milestone to have a device like this here in Australia, because at the moment we had to travel several other countries to do our training. Now we are able to do everything in Australia. Less travelling for the pilots, less fatigue for our flight crew, for our trainers and a lot more quality of life because most of our trainers live here in Brisbane in Australia. Also it's, it's a good opportunity because all the money for our organisation and the training comes to Queensland. So instead of investing money in other countries and developing the aerospace industry, as the Minister said before, it really means that all the money stays here in Queensland and Australia. But we have the ability here to expand even further with another two bays if we ever need them. And we are looking right now about how we can potentially fill up another two bays. I mean, we see this site and Queensland as a general rule as being a growing part for our business. I think pilots generally like to come here as well. I know it's definitely not a hard thing to get on the aeroplane and, and come and spend a few days up here. So for us, it's definitely going to be a growth path. We definitely see Brisbane and our site here having a minimum of three simulators within the next six months or so and up to around five or six, depending on where we end up going. But aviation as a whole globally, not just in Queensland, is obviously booming, which is great for businesses like ours, and we spend a lot of time and money and investment and resources making sure we're supporting that growth. If anything, it's going to keep growing. I mean, for us and our business, anything where there's an infrastructure and a hub that brings and makes pilots' jobs easier to get to where our simulators are, I mean, we see it as a massively important tool and resource, and I think that going forward, all the investment that we're seeing coming out, both from the government side as well as the private enterprise, this is kind of where we need to be. We need to make sure that we're around and we're investing in the same space where everybody else is, and, and Queensland's definitely put a strong stake in the ground about saying they want to be known as an aviation sector and be known as that particular piece and we're just proud to pay a little part of it.